Hi and welcome to Creas web design video blog. This week we're going to show you how to make a drop down or pop up menu using fireworks. The uh, ability to do this in fireworks is really quite good because you don't have to do any coding at all. Um, fireworks will, uh, you know, through their interface, allow you to create a pop up menu, customize it and then export it so that you can then um, build your website around it or integrate it into uh, a website that you're building. So we're using uh, Fireworks CS4 in this example, but the uh, interface um, is pretty much the same on uh, quite a few previous versions of Fireworks, I think right back to MX2004. So the way I'm going to build this pop-up menu is I've essentially got two states that I've made in Photoshop. I've uh, saved the web to GIFs. Uh, you've got the up state, as you can see here, and then you've got the over state, which is a sort of uh, red version. So what I'm going to do is, um, with the navigation, I'm also going to do rollovers for the normal uh, tabs. So all I've done is I've created a new state and I've dragged in the second GIF to essentially create two different states. What I've then done is using the slice tool, which is over here on the left, I have created uh, slices for all of the buttons on the navigation just purely by um, dragging the uh, slice tool over each of the buttons. So I'll just delete that. What I've done next to create rollovers is click on the slice or the button and then go to Behaviors. I've got the panel visible over here on the right. If you can't see the Behaviors panel in Fireworks, just go to Window at the top and then just make sure Behaviors is ticked there. And then when you click a button, all I'm doing is adding Simple Rollover. Adding Simple Rollover to the slices will reveal the state underneath. So uh, in this case, all it does is reveals State 2, which is the red rolled over version. You can use the Preview. Um, interface over here which essentially allows you to view the rollovers. So once you got to this stage you're ready to add the pop-up menu. So um, let's just choose a button to do it on. So let's just say page one. That's going to be the button we're going to do the pop-up menu on. Then you go to modify, pop-up menu, add pop-up menu and you get the pop-up menu editor interface. So it happens in four stages, content, appearance, advanced and position. And content, we're first of all going to add the pages to the website. So the first box is the name of the page, which is services1 in this case. Uh, the link is then the page that the link will click through to. So let's just say page1.html. And then if you don't want the link to appear in the same window, you can put target blank, for example. So let's just put a few more pages in for the example. And services3. Let's just say page3.html. What you'll also notice is this other second little button here, um, which if you click that, it will indent the um, link, which will essentially create a second pop-up menu. So when you uh, scroll down the first pop-up menu and you want the link to expand to have further links, you do that by indenting them using these two buttons here. And you can indent as many as you like. So Services 2 could come off from Services 1, and then uh, Services 3 could come off from Services 2. So it takes a little bit of playing around with to get used to, but it's quite a simple system to use. You can also use the plus and minus buttons here to create more uh, links, but if you just use the tab button like I've been, then uh, it will keep making them for you. Next we go on to the Appearance panel. This allows you to customise the appearance of the pop-up menu. You can specify whether you're going to be using images or HTML. In this case, because we're going to use real text, we're going to use HTML. You can have a vertical or a horizontal menu. In this case, we'll just use a vertical menu. You can specify the typeface you'd like to use. This is going to be creating the CSS um, for the drop-down menu. And you can check the size of the typeface, whether you want it bold or italic. And you'll see that the uh, preview below is updating as per the uh, settings that I'm choosing. So the upstate and the overstate just to display the method for which when you hover your mouse down the drop down menu um, so when you put your mouse over a link you get the overstate and when it's not you get the upstate so you can customize the colors using these four buttons here next you click on to the advanced tab this allows you to uh, specify cell width padding that kind of thing so if you have cell width set on automatic the drop down menu width is determined by the largest of the text links in your navigation. But you can also set it to a uh, fixed width, so I could say 107, which I think is the exact width of the page one button. Same sort of thing with the heights, you can add uh, also add padding, spacing, text indent, 
You can even change the menu delay, so when you hover your mouse over a button, that's the delay for which the menu will appear. If you want to, you can also show borders and select the colors and shadows. And then finally, you can go on to the fourth and final stage of the uh, menu editor, which is the positioning. So this little green icon here represents the slice or button you have selected, and the little blue um, square represents the drop-down menu, the first just sort of uh, where it's going to appear. So you can have it set um, just off to the right, directly below, above, or to the right. And if, again, if you have sub-menus, uh, like we discussed a moment ago, you can also modify the sub-menu position as to how the next set of sub-menus will appear. So once you finish customizing it, you can click Done, and you'll see the pop-up menus appearing like so. So just to recap, you've got the content part of the editor, which where you enter the pages, the links, and also you can structure the um, different uh, layers and indentations of the pop-up menus. You can customize the appearance, which is the look and the feel uh, and the presentation of the pop-up menu. You can then change uh, the advanced settings, which are things like the padding, the cell width, um, whether you want to show borders. And finally, you can choose the positioning. You can uh, set it so that it appears to the left, directly below, above, or to the right. And then once you've done that, you can see the menu um, has appeared. You can see the outline of it in the blue. Unfortunately, in Fireworks, if you click Preview, you can't actually see the preview of your pop-up menu, like you can see the rollovers in the navigation. So what you actually have to do is actually export the file. So if we export this, it will essentially create all of the HTML, all of the images, all the CSS and JavaScript, and put it into a folder for us. So I've just prepared a folder on my desktop called Website. Uh, we'll call it Index. I'm putting the I'm going to put the sub images, sorry, the images into a subfolder. Click Export. This will export all of the files for our pop-up menu onto the desktop. So you can now go and find the files and open them, but the good thing is you can come back to Fireworks and change the settings and just save over the exported files so you, you, know, you can sort of export them as a test, keep going back until you get it 100% right. Uh, sometimes it doesn't quite load first time, just give it a refresh and you'll see the pop-up menu appearing based on our specifications and you can also see the rollovers appearing for the main navigation. So I hope this tutorial has been of some use to you. Um, if you'd like to contribute to uh, this tutorial then please do so by leaving comments on our YouTube channel or on our blog post. Thanks for watching.